Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs and today another short video about vintage display technology. Now what you see here is a so-called uh, Decatron connected directly to the 50 Hz mains frequencies and mains operated with what's so-called a Decatron spinner circuit. Now I'm sorry but it's impossible to record what is really happening or what you see by your eye. Uh, simply because the, um, the spinning motion of the, of the uh, glowing anodes here sorry, is with 50 Hz and the camera is recording with uh, 25 Hz. So you see um, not one orange spot uh, moving around in circles, but you always see a few of them lighted up and jumping wildly around, but that I can't do anything with my camera about that. Well, anyway, let's talk a, l a little bit about what are Decatrons, what were they used for in, in the vintage years. Uh, basically, a Decatron can also be called a, uh, is, is a counting tube or a glow transfer counting tube. And so the name implies already what it was used for. Uh, namely counters and the orange glow uh, that reminds you immediately to the glow of uh, Nixie tube. Let's put in for comparison my Nixie watch here and you see the color is basically the same. Um, so uh, Decatrons are based on the glow principle of uh, neon bulbs or Nixie tubes. Depending on what gas is inside them, uh, here it's obviously the, the main ingredient is neon. That's why the orange glow is, uh, is there. Uh, but it could also be argon. Uh, then you have a more uh, blue-violet color. So there are also types av available with hydrogen uh, filling. And why the different gas fillings? Well, it that maximizes or that gives uh, you the maximum counting speeds. The uh, neon filled Decatrons, they can count only up to a few dozen kilohertz, while the argon tubes uh, can go up to, um, I think, 100 kilohertz and uh, hydrogen filled. Uh, decatrons are going up to a maximum of about one megahertz. Um, so the principle is you have a lot of uh, anodes built around in a circle and um, you have um, for each anode you have a kind of trigger anode and when you give a trigger pulse uh, then the glow is transferred from one glowing uh, anode or cathode uh, to the next one. Sorry, I think the cathode is glowing in cold cathode displays. So th that's why it's called glow transfer, because with a counting pulse or a trigger pulse, the glow is transferred. And now you could even put a, a dial or a scale around the tube to indicate at which position it, it is just. Uh, you can also use it as a in Geiger counters, that was one of their uses. And even in, in early types of uh, computers, uh, these uh, Decatron counting tubes were used. I don't know how they did it, but anyway. So there is uh, not so much to say about that. Uh, there was also later a, vari a variation which was called Pixie Tube, which really had a dial above uh, the, the dome of the tube. And there you had really the numbers uh, 1 to uh, 9 um, engraved. Uh, so you could see each number had a little slot and you could see when one slot was was lit up, then that was the, uh, the number where the counter uh, has stopped at that moment. So what else can I say? I'll give you a few links down below. Um, the, this easy spinner circuit, as you can see, only consists of a few passive components and uh, I think three or four diodes and that's all. And that's the easiest way to get a, a Decatron running. This one here is a Russian type because it's the cheapest one you get from eBay, an A101 type from 
is this uh, the manufacturing year 1966 so you see the uh, neon filled ones they can last uh, as many uh, tubes do for many many decades but for example the uh, hydrogen filled ones they are probably all dead now because hydrogen uh, it just diffuses out of the glass metal uh, seal um, they're, they're only helium is, is worse than hydrogen when it comes to uh, diffusion and well that was it for a short look on a uh, uh, strange looking but if you see it in reality this this spinning motion um, is really uh, nice to look at but I cannot record this on camera due to the uh, same frequency between or the uh, same multiple of frequencies between the uh, camera exposure rate or frame rate and the mains frequency used here. So anyway, that was it for a uh, very short video about uh, Decatron spinner circuit. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye from Roger, bye from Kanker Labs.